Hello friends, I am Dr. V.S. Rathod. I am a plastic and cosmetic surgeon working in the city of Kolkata. I am the director of Kayakal Cosmetic and Laser Surgery Clinic. Today I will be telling you about hair transplantation technique. As you all know, there are two techniques of hair transplant. One is FUT or we call it as an strip method. Uh, FUT stands for follicular unit transplant. And the other technique is FUE or we call it as follicular unit extraction. You see, both the methods are being utilized to cover the bald area. These techniques are basically uh, different in the way of their harvesting follicles from the donor area. Since the donor area is fixed in each and every individual. And this donor area is permanent and we call this uh, donor area as in safe donor area. The safe donor area is fixed in each individual. In case of FUT, what we do, we take out a small strip from the back of scalp and the margins are stitched up. And from that strip, we dissect out the follicular units. You know, our uh, hairs are normally grouped. Either some are arranged singly, some are double, some are triple and some are arranged in a group of four also. So there is a gap between those uh, groups. We dissect out uh, the follicles by dissecting into the that gap. And so the follicular units are extracting. And after a separation of uh, follicular units from the strip, they are implanted into the bald area. While in case of FUE, what we do is shave off the donor area and then there are small punches which varies from 0.7 millimeter to 0.8 millimeter or sometimes we utilize 0.9 millimeter punches also. With those punches, we punch out the individual follicular units and implant into the recipient area. See, both methods, either FUT or FUE, they have their own role. The treating surgeon will be the best guide to decide ki which patient will get more benefit by FUT technique or FUE, FUE technique. The concern which I receive or mostly the patient ask is about the scar. Yes, definitely. In case of FUT, what we are doing since we are removing a strip of skin and we are uniting the margins. So it is going to leave a linear scar on the back of scalp. But in to minimize the appearance of that linear scar, we do a technique called as a trichophytic closure technique. In trichophytic closure, what we do at one of the margin of the scar, we bury the hair roots by removing only the upper layer of skin. We call, call it as an epidermis and the upper margin get overlapped with the lower margin so that there is a row of uh, hair roots which are buried and they will grow through the scar. So the appearance of scar is minimized in FUT technique with the help of trichophytic closure technique. Now coming to scar in case of FUE. In FUE, since we are uh, coring out or making a punch of uh, skin with the hair root, so they leave a tiny small scars on the back. Uh, and in case of FUE, we harvest every third or fourth uh, hair follicular unit so that the donor area doesn't look over harvested. Now, since I was uh, telling you uh, the donor area or the safe donor area is limited in each individual. So theoretically, if someone is having more baldness, means more grade of baldness, so the requirement of graft will be more. So if I am thinking or the treating surgeon is thinking of doing only an FUE, then maybe he will over harvest and may transgress into the unsafe donor area. So transgressing into the unsafe donor area means that those hairs 
may vanish in future time so that is one you can say uh, the surgeon has to be careful otherwise what will happen that uh, the fue technique it will blame that ki fue hairs they vanish in fue technique shaving of donor area is mandatory and there are special punches which are available in 0.7 to 0.9 or maybe a 1 mm in size also they are used to core out or drill out the individual follicular units every third fourth or fifth uh, follicular unit is drilled out after drilling out it is being pulled or extracted so because of that what happen is that there is a less tissue is present around the hair root so these fue grafts are very delicate and fragile and they need to be handled very well carefully and there is more chance of desiccation and since this process is blind so it requires a, a treating doctor's expertise otherwise what happens there are chances of partial or complete transaction of the grafts or sometimes if the angulation is not good uh, while harvesting uh, the neighboring hair root also get injured so uh, theoretically fue technique will decrease the density of the donor area that means the donor area appearance is getting compromised and since the entire uh, safe donor area we are uh, doing an operation so that means we are causing multiple scarring in the entire donor area so if someone thinks of harvesting uh, from a previously harvested fue scalp the yield by any of the technique will be less which is you can say a negative point in case of fue technique as compared to the fut so both the techniques are having its role in hair transplantation so whoever is looking for hair transplant must see that his or her treating doctor or a surgeon is well conversant with fut technique as well as with the fue technique there are definitely advantage of fue first uh, the recovery is really very fast the uh, uh, recipient uh, the donor area heals within 5 to 7 days time while in case of fut there is a stitch and it takes around 10 to 12 days times for complete healing and there is a stitch removal is required in fut technique while in fue there is no stitch removal secondly definitely the amount of scarring is very minute in fue so if someone is keeping a very short hairs on the scalp the fue scars are not visible but if someone is uh, someone has done an fut and if he is intending to keep a very short hair then the fut scar is visible but i'll say if you uh, scientifically if you see the amount of scarring that there is a linear scar in fut while if you calculate and add the small punches the amount of scarring of fue is more as compared to linear scar of fut uh, then with fut technique you have a wide area from where you can harvest if someone is thinking of a eyebrow transplant or a eyelashes here they can with the fue from the lower part of scalp we can harvest because those hairs are very uh, thinned out and uh, with fue technique we can harvest hairs from the chin from the chest from the other body parts in the cases where there is a great seven baldness or extensive baldness in those cases a combination of fut technique fue technique as well as the body hairs will only provide an complete solution to it no single method is going to help in those extensive cases and while uh, so a treating surgeon should individualize the patient need if a younger patient is there 
in order to preserve his donor area the recommendation is to think of a fut method rather than an fue technique but the best uh, judge will be your treating doctor who will be deciding you ki which method either fut or fue should be done right now or which method should be preserved for a future use or even if you are thinking of an fue method spare a area of fut uh, and don't harvest on that uh, fut area so that in future if the patient needs a second transplant by an fut we will having that virgin area of fut strip so that we can harvest more hairs so to conclude i will say both fut and fue methods are having their pros and cons the treating doctor uh, should decide which method will be better for which patient in which uh, grade of baldness thank you for watching